Yes, sir. Uh, glory be to God, the Most High God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He who speaks and it is done, commands and it comes into being. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, the living God. Yes. This morning I want to preach a message I have entitled, Born Victorious. Glory be to God. We are born victorious, born as a head and not a tail, born as overcomers. I take my scripture from First John chapter 5 verse 4. For whoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith. Glory be to God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for this time, this glorious time before the Most High God. Thank you that we will receive manna from heaven. We will receive divine delicacy from the hand of the Spirit, our standby, our guide, our teacher, the anointing. Hallelujah. And we will be transformed, changed to another degree of glory, to the glory of the Most High God. Born victorious. Hallelujah. Child of God, under the sound of my voice, I want you to know that you know that you know that you are born victorious. Hallelujah. The day you were born again, you were translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God their son. God their son. Therefore, you are born to be the head and not a tail. Jesus came to give you an eye. Yes. Life more abundant. Know that you know, child of God, that you are a peculiar person. Hallelujah. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Know, child of God, that God has called you, yes, to proclaim His glory, to show forth His glory. Yes, because he made you and I the light of the world, the salt of the earth, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Therefore know who you are and, yes, act out the word of God, believe the word of God, and walk, yes, in the light of the word of God, because you are born victorious. You are not a victim, but a victor in Christ. Yes, in Genesis chapter 21 verse 28, we were given dominion. Hallelujah. Dominion over all the works, over all the creation of God. In Psalm 8, hallelujah, it also tells us, hallelujah. Hallelujah, O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your, is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I consider the heavens, the moon and the stars, yes, which you have made, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man, that you visit him, for you have made him a little Lord, and yes, God, <laughs> and you have given him dominion over all the works of your hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Know who you are in Christ. Know that you are superior, more than all the things God has made. More know that you are an heir of God and joint heir with Christ. Yes, so do not allow 
any circumstance to dominate you. Rise up, yes, sleeping giants, and take your place. Yes, rise up and be what God has called you to be. Know that principalities and powers are under your feet. Know that when Jesus was crucified, you were crucified with him. You died with him. Yes, you were buried with him. And you were raised with him. And seated now with him in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers and thrones and names that shall be named, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. You are born victorious. Yes, Jesus said, Behold, I give you power over the power of the enemy. Yes, power to trample upon serpents and scorpions, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He said, All authority, yes, in heaven, has been given unto me. Go, yes, and make disciples of all nations, teaching them all that I have taught you, and baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For lo, I am with you always. We have been given authority. Hallelujah. Whatever you bind on it, yes, it's bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on it, it's loose in heaven. Hallelujah. Know who you are. Know what you have. Hallelujah. And go, yes, victorious. And leave victorious. Hallelujah. In John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life and have life in its fullness. Hallelujah. You are born victorious. So live victorious. Refuse to allow circumstances to pull you down, to keep you down. Yes, the righteous man may fall seven times, but he rises again. That is your portion. Hallelujah. Live victorious. Hallelujah. God is for you. And who can be against you? Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, we are told, Yes, there is therefore now no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah! You are a child of God. You are a heavenite. You are born, yes, to suffer with Him and to reign with Christ. Therefore say to yourself, If God be for me, who can be against me? Hallelujah. Know that all things are working together for your good because you love God and you are the call according to his purpose. God has a plan, a good plan for you. He said it in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that are things towards you, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. A future filled with hope. That is your portion. Hallelujah. And so weeping men there for the night. But joy is coming in the morning. In the name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Therefore when your heart pressed on every side. Know beyond doubt that you will not be crushed. When you are perplexed. Know that you know that you know that you will not be driven into despair. You need not be driven into despair. Know who is for you, who is in you, and who is with you. The psalmist wrote, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Ah, that's your portion, child of God. Stand strong to see the salvation of your God. God will fight for you, and he will hold your peace. He has given you authority even to speak to storms and calm them. 
Hallelujah. Because as he is, so you are. Hallelujah. You are sufficient in God's sufficiency. Hallelujah. Therefore, say to yourself, if God be for me, who can be against me? Hallelujah. If God did not withhold Jesus, but delivered him up for us, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Therefore, ask the question that Paul asked, who shall separate us from the love of God? Hallelujah! Shall tribulation or distress, shall famine or nakedness, shall peril or sword separate us from the love of God? Yes, it was Christ who died, yea, who was raised. Hallelujah! Is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah! And I'm seated there with Him. Who shall bring a charge against me? Hallelujah! Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah! Therefore neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, impending, nor threatening, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus Christ in me, the hope of glory. Stand your ground, child of God. Yes, in the world you will suffer some tribulation, the be of good cheer I have overcome the world. Yes, Christ has overcome for you and for me. Hallelujah. Therefore, set your face like a flint and look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. You are more than a conqueror. You are an overcomer. The boundary lines have been, yes, set in pleasant places for you. No, that you know, that you know, and stand your ground. He said, every place of the souls of your feet shall tread, I have given it to you. Hallelujah. Therefore occupy until he comes. Possess your possession. There shall be deliverance on Mount Zion. And the redeemed of the Lord shall possess their possession in the name of Jesus. Yes, have faith, bulldog faith, like Joshua and Caleb, who silenced the majority who were bringing a, an evil report. They told them, Hallelujah, if the Lord delights in us, He will bring us into this land flowing with milk and honey. Only rebel not against Him. Yes, they told the naysayers, Yes, that the land is a good land. They told the naysayers, yes, that they are more than conquerors. They told the naysayers that they are able to overcome their enemies. You too must speak the word of God. Speak the mind of God. Speak the promises of God that are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We have put our hands to the plow and we shall not look back. We are pressing on and pressing on until we reach the other side. Yes, Jesus told his disciples, let us go to the other side. Yes, and they got into a boat and began to go and there was a boisterous wind, ferocious wind. Yes, <laughs> hallelujah, and the boat was being filled with water, and they panicked, and they woke Jesus up, who was having a good nap. Master, don't you care that we perish? <laughs> Jesus rose up and rebuked the wind, peace be still, and there was a great calm. And they wondered, what manner of man is this, that even the wind obey his voice? Hallelujah. Yes, any one of them in that boat could have 
stood up, taking authority over the wind, and it would have stopped. Hallelujah. And Jesus rebuked them. Where is your faith? Pura sile enstroplike shliya. Child of God, under the sound of my voice, you too have that authority to steal storms, to calm storms in your life, in your environment, in your nation, because Christ in you, the hope of glory, because as he is, so we are. He has given us authority over principalities and powers, over the elements. You too can speak to things and they shall obey in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus said in Mark 11, Mark 11, chapter 23, Yes, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, that is God's word for you and for me. Yes, speak to those things that are defying the word of God. Yes, tell them to line up with the word of God. Speak to your body to line up with the word of God. Yes, speak to your career. Speak to your business to line up with the word of God. You are more than a conqueror. You are not an overcomer. You are the head and not the tail. Yes, hallelujah. God's word is powerful. God's word is dynamic. God's word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes, his word in your mouth is his word. Hallelujah. Come to change things. Hallelujah. God said the word that has proceeded out of my mouth will not return to me empty. It will accomplish that which I please prosper in the thing whereunto it is sent. Send the word and people shall be healed. Send the word and your business shall grow. Send the word and you will see power. You will see people raised from the dead. You will see, yes, those who are sick being healed. Hallelujah. Send the word. The centurion yes, came to Jesus regarding the servant who was sick. And Jesus said, I will come and heal him. And he said, Ah, I'm a man of authority. I say to this man, Come and he comes. Another go and he goes. He said, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. Just send your word only. And my servant shall be made well. Glory be to God. Send your word only. Hallelujah. Yes, you too should have that type of faith. Yes, I believe that the word of God is sufficient. Hallelujah. The flowers may fade. Yes, the grass may wither, the flowers may fade, but the word of God abides forever. Hallelujah. Great peace of day who know your law. Hallelujah, nothing will move them. Let nothing move you. Stand on the revealed will of God. His word is his will, and his will is his word. Stand on God's word. Proclaim God's word without any doubt, and it shall come to pass, no matter how long it may have taken. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up the wings of the eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint or become tired. Stand and you will see the salvation of God. Hallelujah. Every promise that he has made to you shall come to pass as you stand on the word. As you hold on to the word. Yes, like a bulldog does a gotten hold of a, 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 dog, a bone. Yes, hold on to it. Refuse to let go. 
Yes, wrestle with God, if need be. Like Jacob of old, I will not leave you until you bless me. I will not leave you until you bless me. You are not a man that you should lie, not the son of man that you should repent. You said it, and you have the wherewithal to bring it to pass. The earth in all its fullness belongs to God. Therefore I hold on to your word. It shall surely come to pass in the name of Jesus. Mora said to God is not a man that he should lie, not a son of man that he should repent. Hallelujah. By two unchangeable things, it is impossible for God to lie. Hallelujah. Therefore, we stand strong in Him and in His mighty power. If God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. Stand and see the salvation of the Lord. You are born victorious. Hallelujah. Yes, my two immutable things, yes, in which it was impossible for God to lie, yes, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope that is set before us. Hallelujah. We are laying hope upon the hope. Laying hold upon, yes, the hope that is set before us. And that hope is not, a, is not hope against hope. Because we have the God of hope as our health. Glory be to God. Abraham against hope believed in hope. Hallelujah. And he received the promise. Romans chapter 4. Hallelujah. Against hope. Hallelujah. Abraham believed in hope. He called those things which be not as though they were. Hallelujah. Stand on the promise that God has given you. Stand on the remnant that God has given you. Yes, he staggered not. From verse 19. And being not weak in faith. Romans 4, verse 19. Now, let's go to 18. Who against hope believe in hope that he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken. So that thy so shall thy seed be, and be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Yes, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith. Hallelujah, was strong in faith, was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Hallelujah, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. Yes, child of God, in the sound of my voice, you must be fully persuaded. You must be fully convinced that what God has promised you, He will, yes, perform. Because He's not a man that He should lie. God is not unrighteous to forget your labor of righteousness. He does not forget. He said, I have engraved you on the palm of my hands. Hallelujah, I have tattooed you on the palm of my hands. Shall a mother forget a sucking babe? Yes, even if she does, I will not forsake you. So know that you know that you know that God is walking in your behalf. Hallelujah. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, he told Sarah, is there anything to have for me? Hallelujah. And in the fullness of time, we know what happened. God came to Sarah, and she became pregnant, Genesis chapter 21. And she bore a child, Isaac, 
for Abraham. Yes, God gave them laughter in their old age. He fulfilled his promise. Glory to God. Yes, know that what he, has, what he did for Abraham, he can do for you. Why? Because you are the seed of Abraham. Hallelujah, Galatians 4 to 9. You are the seed of Abraham. Yes. Speak to yourself. I am the seed of Abraham. All the promises that God gave to Abraham, they belong to me too. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I am born victorious. I am born a winner. I am born a heavenite. I am born the hands and the feet of God, His voice on planet Earth. I am born the light of this world. I am born, yes, the salt of the earth. No principality or power will conquer me in the name of Jesus. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony that they loved not their lives even unto death. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Yes, he said, hey, Joshua, yes, every place the soles of your feet shall tread, I have given it to you. Notice the tense, I have. Hallelujah, hallelujah, yes, as far as you can see, as far as you can tread, and yes, it is yours, hallelujah, the ball is in your court, how far you go, how high you rise, is in your court, he told Joshua, yes, this book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you will make your way prosperous, and you will have good success. It's up to you and I. Hallelujah. How far we go. How high we rise. God has given us the blueprint. Yes. Use the word. Yes. Walk the word and you shall see victory, you shall see triumph in your life, in your family, in your church, in your nation, because God has given us the authority, the audacity to stand on his word, the audacity to speak to things and see them change for good, in the name of Jesus. Stand therefore, child of God, Yes, and proclaim who you are. Declare who you are. Yes, and take the baton from generation to generation. Keep saying what God said, not what you see, not your circumstances. Keep saying the word of God. Keep proclaiming the word of God, the mind of God, the will of God, and it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Because you are born victorious, you are a conqueror, more than a conqueror, you are a heavenite, you are a child of God, you are an heir of God, and joint heir with Christ, yes, you are a citizen of heaven, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of this world, you are a royal priesthood, you are a living stone, you are, yes, a holy nation, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, Christ has been made unto you wisdom, redemption, sanctification, reconciliation, you are a co-worker with God, be not afraid, yes, he told Joshua, have I not commanded you, be strong, and be of a good courage, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That same promise is to you. Hallelujah. Be not afraid. Yes, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Hallelujah. If David in the old dispensation could declare, for thou art with me, 
how much more you and I in the new dispensation. I will never leave you nor forsake you until the end of the age. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. You overcame him by the blood of a lamb and by the word of their testimony that they love not their lives even unto death. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Yes, no, that you know, that you know, that you have not been purchased with perishable things as silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Lamb slain before the foundation of this world. Know that he has taken your sins away. Know that you know that you know that as far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed your transgression from you. And as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love towards you. He loves you with an everlasting love. You are blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. You are chosen of God. Hallelujah. You are an apple of God's eyes. Therefore, yes, keep declaring, yes, the word of God. Keep declaring your testimonies. Know that you know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. Whoever is born of God, overcome this world, and this is the victory. Overcome this world, even your faith, the just shall live by faith. Therefore walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Say to yourself, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Say to yourself, I am sufficient. Yes, with God's sufficiency. Say to yourself, I have authority over principalities and powers. And their place is under my feet. Say to yourself, I am born to radiate the praise and the glory of the Most High God. Say to yourself, I am a priest and a king unto God. Yes, I am born a masterpiece, a peculiar person. I am chosen of God. I am of a new generation. Yes, a royal priesthood. All things have passed away and all things have become new. I belong to God. I belong to the Church, the bride of Christ, yes, called to be on his side. I'm born a champion, born to be the head and not a tail in the name of Jesus. Yes, I am born a winner, a co laborer with God. Yes, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment I will show to be in the wrong and bound to suffer with him and to reign with him. Yes, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Thanks be to God who always causes me to triumph. Hallelujah. I am born the habitation of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Born his voice and his ambassador, his hands and his feet. Yes, I am sufficient in his sufficiency. All things are mine as he is. So I am in the name of Jesus. All things are possible to me. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Spirit is in me, the stand by the teacher, the anointing that breaks every yoke of bondage. He resides in me, he empowers me, he energizes me, yes, making me born victorious to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. For what you have done for what you are doing, for what you will do. For eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him. Thank you that your Holy Spirit unveils those deep things to us. That same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead indwells us, and he who raised Christ from the dead will also quicken. Hallelujah. Make up alive our mortal bodies in the name of Jesus. Thank you for my business. Thank you for my 
ministry. Yes, it shall abound. It shall glow and grow to the glory of God. Thank you that my body lines up with your word. No disease or infirmity has a part with my the temple of the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you that I have a sound mind. Thank you that your angels are on assignment in my behalf. In Jesus' name, as I speak your word, yes, they are angel food. The galvanized angels to be on assignment in my behalf. In the name of Jesus, I am the head and not the tail. In Jesus' name, all things are possible to those who believe. Yes, thank you, mighty God. I stand my ground. Yes, I shall serve my generation, complete my ministry, fulfill my ministry to finesse, to the glory of God. That's my portion. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die before my time. In Jesus' name, God is at work in me, both to will and to do according to his good pleasure. In Jesus' name, you, yes, who has begun this good work, will continue to work at it until you bring it to a glorious conclusion in the name of Jesus I shall be able to say yes it is finished yes with finesse I shall be able to say with confidence yes God has been so good to me put a silicon to rock a big I shall be able to say I have finished my race I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith. Yes, rash dear, henceforth is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, but the Lord, the righteous judge, will give not only unto me, but unto all those who are awaiting his appearing. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Born victorious to the glory of the Most High God. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. Greater is he in me than he that is in this world. Greater is he in me. In this world, with thy banner of God, all that comes this world, which you never see me, and he never sees in this world. Whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he, because great is he in me. Is in the world, you can't be for me. To me. Tell me who can, can be against me? Because greater is he in me than he that is in this world. I can do all things through Christ, Christ who strengthens me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. God is such a world king, but to will and to do his good pleasure. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. No weapon for fashion can kiss me. God makes my fingers fingers fight, fight and my hands hand to the wall. Greater is he that is in me, and he that is in this world. 
If God be, be, God God be, be for me, for me to me, me who can be against me? Greater is he, greater is he in me. And he that is in this world, thanks, thanks be, be to God, God who always causes me to triumph. Greater is he in me. He that is in this world, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I serve him? Richer is he that is in me, and he that is in this world. The battle, the battle the is not mine. The battle is yours. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. The kingdom of God, of God suffers violence, when the violence is taken by force. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. I'll be strong in the Lord. And in his, in his mighty power, for greater is he that is in me, than he that is in this world. The anointing, the anointing breaks the yoke, anointing, anointing lifts burdens. Greater is he that is in me, than he that is in this world. I will fear no evil, cause the Lord is with me. Greater is he that is in me, than he that is in this world. I can see his angels on the sandbanks before me. For greater is he that is in me. He that he that is in me. Weeping men dear for the night, but joy joy comes in the morning. For greater is he that is in me. And he that is in this world, the righteous may fall seven times, but he rises up. Again, as greater is he that is in me, than he that is in this world. Name all these things, we are more than conquerors. As greater is he that is in me, than he that is in this world. Behold, I give you power over the power of the enemy power to trample upon serpents and scorpions the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil the Lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall I fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life when my enemies Come up to eat up my flesh, yet in this shall I be confident, because I know whom I serve. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. 
or be discouraged because of the foes, in spite of their fastness. Think of the Lord's greatness. With them is the arm of the flesh, but with us, the Lord of hosts. Yes, the Lord is on our side. We will not be ashamed. He will not forsake us. Those who have come in one way will flee in seven ways. Mighty angels are round about those who fear him. Weeping men there for the night. A joy is coming in the morning. Be strong. Be bold and strong. Come on. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged because of the fools. In spite of the vastness, think of the Lord's greatness. With them is the arm of the flesh, and with us the Lord of hosts. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged because of the fools. In spite of the vastness, think of the Lord's greatness. With them is the arm of the The breastplate of righteousness, the belt of fruit, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Above all, the shield of the faith. Ha! Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged because of the force. In spite of the vastness, think of the Lord's greatness. Freedom is the arm of the flesh, and we are the Lord of hosts. The Lord is your light and your salvation. Of whom should you be afraid? He's the stronghold of your life. And the heart will stand by you. He will fight for you. Stand, 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 stand. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged because of the foes. In spite of their vastness, think of the Lord's greatness. With them is the arm of the flesh, and with us, the Lord of hosts. Can to see your salvation? Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of the eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The anointing destroys yokes. Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about the eagles. Stand, stand. Stand, stand, stand. Be strong in the Lord. The Lord is on your side. If God be for you, who can be against you? You have for neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Stand to see your salvation. Be strong.